The gift bags at an anti-gay summit addressed by Trump include a pamphlet warning about the health hazards of homosexuality. Donald Trump today became the first sitting president in recent history to address the gathering of a listed anti-LGBT hate group when he spoke at the Value Voter Summit. The event was held by the Family Research Council, a hardline evangelical group which is listed by the Southern Poverty Law Center as an anti-gay hate group due to its aggressive homophobic stance. The White House ignored repeated warnings about extremist homophobes at the event, pushing ahead with a planned appearance by Trump, who praised evangelical voters and suggested support for broad religious freedom protections in his speech. Meanwhile, the event's organizers were distributing anti-LGBT propaganda to attendees. A gift bag handed to every attendee that heard Trump speak included a leaflet promoting a book titled The Hazards of Homosexuality. The leaflets say the sexual revolution and mainstreaming of homosexuality have created a public health crisis affecting us all. But the media give little attention to the danger of gay and lesbian sexual practices and the resulting health problems experienced by the gales been bisexual population. Worse, the medical authorities deliver mixed messages to those at high risk while failing to protect the broader public. Homosexual and bisexual men are most severely affected and are driving the recent increases in STDs. Lesbians, heterosexuals and youth are increasingly at risk by imitating dangerous gay practices. The book brings together widely dispersed facts, carefully documenting the disproportionate incidence of disease and mental disorders in the GLB community. A brief survey of the transgender phenomenon is included. The president is addressing the Values Voter Summit today. Here's what they're giving guests in a swag bag the hazards of homosexuality picked out Twitter.com Rusco, David Mack at David Mack How October 13, 2017 The book was penned by Mass Resistance, which has praised laws criminalizing gay sex. Sarah Kate Ellis, president and CEO of GLAAD, said this morning, addressing a gathering of some of the most extreme LGBTQ activists in the country, Trump once again legitimized hate speech and vowed, again and again to write discrimination into law by pushing laws focused on religious exemptions. The religious exemption laws that groups like the Family Research Council and the Trump administration fully support do not reflect real American values. They legalize discrimination by allowing hotels for doctors, business owners, and even pediatricians to legally deny services to hardworking LGBTQ families. Trump's Attorney General Jeff Sessions this week claimed that Christians have a fundamental right to discriminate against gay people. Sessions has month filed a brief with the Supreme Court which argues that the Constitution protects people and businesses who discriminate against gay people on the basis of free speech. His intervention comes as the court prepares to consider the case of a baker who refused to serve a gay couple on the grounds of religion. The case, backed by a powerful anti-LGBT lobbying group, threatens to blow a hole in LGBT anti-discrimination protections across the U.S. In an interview with the Christian Broadcast Network today, Sessions confirmed that he believes Christians have the right to discriminate. He said the matter is in litigation, but I would just say to you that too often we have ignored what the Constitution actually says. It says Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof. So the question is, the cake baker has more than just a personal view here. He has a religious view and he feels that he is not able to freely exercise his religion by being required to participate in a ceremony in some fashion that he does not believe in. So we think that right is a fundamental right and not to be respected as we work through this process. He added of course in the 1990s we passed a Religious Freedom Restoration Act that said the government should not constrict a person's religious belief without a compelling reason to do so. So we think that statute has been ignored too often and not respected sufficiently. And so when you consider those two things, then you're getting not only greater protection for people's religious beliefs that I think should be given. Sessions has led the Trump administration's anti-LGBT agenda. With blessings from Trump and Pence, he has set out to undermine protections for LGBT people across the federal government in a series of decisions reversing Obama administration guidance. The Justice Department issued a directive last week protecting the right to perform or abstain from performing certain physical acts in accordance with one's beliefs, granting an unlimited license to discriminate against LGBT people based on religion. The Trump administration also rolled back civil rights protections for transgender people and made an uninvited intervention into a discrimination case this year to argue against discrimination protections for gay employees. The case surrounds skydiving instructor Donald Zarda, who was allegedly fired by his employer Altitude Express for being gay. 
but the Justice Department argued that the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which outlaws discrimination based on a number of characteristics, does not provide any protections for gay people, despite outlawing sex-based discrimination. Weighing in on the case, the Trump administration contended that the essential element of sex discrimination under civil rights law Title VII is that employees of one sex must be treated worse than similarly situated employees of the other sex, and sexual orientation discrimination simply does not have that effect. It added Congress has made clear through its actions and inactions in this area that Title VII's prohibition of sex discrimination does not encompass sexual orientation discrimination. The administration directs this court should reaffirm its precedent, holding that Title VII does not prohibit discrimination because of sexual orientation.